So I decided to do the video without editing anything, so if it's crap, that's the point. I thought it was hilarious. Enjoy! Hey everyone, my name is Carlos, and today is September 17th, which means iOS 8 came out, which is a big deal, because everyone was complaining that they didn't have enough data on their phones. I have a 5S, and for me, it took 1.2 gigabytes to download it, which seems okay, but everyone was furious, because their phones were old or didn't have enough space. And people complained that they had to delete their nudes and their Bible apps. Yeah, both of those. Because they didn't have enough space. My friend that had a 4S, which is the last phone that can um, have iOS 8, his download was 4.6 gigabytes for iOS 8. Which is ridiculous. So, apparently that was a big deal for everyone. I didn't think it was a big deal, because I know sometimes it takes a lot of data. But, apparently some other people were really pissed off and tried to you know, remake their whole phone because they didn't have enough space for it. I would say it is actually really good. I liked it. Some cool features here and there. They added a health app, which was kind of cool. They can now monitor, monitor your... No, that's the phone. They can... They added this health app, which was pretty cool. There's uh, They can put your age, hooray, your weight, your height, if you have any allergies. So apparently if someone picks up your phone, they cannot also just see your pictures and your contacts. They can see, wow, this is Carlos. He weighs this and that, and he uh, is allergic to whatever it is. So I thought that was interesting that your whole life is pretty much on the phone now, not to mention the new card thing that they're going to add, which can put all your debit cards or concert tickets all together in the app which is added for my LSA. Another big thing is voice memos or whatever you want to call it. Pretty much when you're texting someone you can leave a voice message which I think is hilarious because now everyone's going to be... Oh, fuck. They also added voice memos which I think is pretty awesome since now you're going to be able to text someone and be like Hey, you're weird. <laughs> and you can and then you can just send it to them and they can hear your voice during the text message conversation so now it's not just text there's little voice inserts so that's pretty cool and also the biggest one apparently that everyone loves is leaving a group chat yes I know everyone was going crazy about this one because I feel like you know it's kind of annoying to get 50 text messages in a row and you can leave the group chat We've all, we've all experienced that. So now, it's amazing that you can leave group chats uh, whenever you want, and now you can see who are your real friends and who aren't your real friends, because now everyone's going to leave and they don't want to deal with your crap, because they can just leave. So, I thought that was pretty awesome that they added. Also, people that cheat on their significant others, beware. You cannot get away with it anymore, which is good, because those are bad people anyways. Now, there's called some on-location uh, messaging, where you can show your... <coughs> now, you can send your, on -loca your location where you are. Now you can send your location where you are, whenever. Let's say you're texting your friend or your girlfriend and she's like, where are you at? And you can't say, oh, I'm at you know, my friend's house instead of the club. Because now you can, she can ask you, oh, send me your location. And your phone can actually send a location at the moment from where you are. So if it shows up that you're at the club and not your friend's house or in your room, you know, at your house, going to sleep, you're screwed, and you can't get away with it, which is awesome, I guess. Besides that, you know, most of the apps and features, they changed the interface a little bit. There's some new little modern-looking pull-up bars where you can see the Wi-Fi, the flashlight menu. Uh, 
text messaging also they changed a little bit the keyboard and now they have some uh, word recommendations that while you're typing you can just hit those instead of typing the whole word out and that was mostly it uh, it's the first day I'm sure there's a couple of bugs people are still going to be complaining no matter what uh, hopefully their data issues get figured out because I don't have to deal with that, but I have a newer, newer phone and I have a lot of space left. But I know there's a lot of people that don't, and they were complaining a lot about it and going crazy. So let's see how this goes for Apple and uh, enjoy iOS 8. I know I will. I'm still figuring everything out. That's basically the majority of the things that changed. And uh, they added some podcast and um, iBooks app. That was basically done before, but just built in iTunes. So, besides that, there's really nothing else. So, I will see you guys later.